We're looking at a character who is, um, who is entering into the complex Ukraine plot. Our story describes Dmitry Firtash. So Firtash is a famous Ukrainian oligarch who made his fortune in deals serving as a middleman, bringing Russian gas resources into the Ukraine. A number of those who became very wealthy during this period were, not surprisingly, associated with organized crime. And there were allegations, vociferously denied, that Firtash was associated with organized criminal elements in the former Soviet Union. Since that time, he's had some trouble with the law and in fact has been indicted by the U.S. attorney in Chicago, seeking his extradition. Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman, who are now associated in the public mind with Rudy Giuliani. I can't wait to come back. See you in Ukraine soon. They were arrested. They were on their way to Europe, we believe to Vienna, on it with a one-way ticket. I don't know those gentlemen. You were in pictures now with them. Now it's possible I have a picture with them because I have a picture with everybody. Um, in the course of working with Giuliani, they are alleged to have made a campaign contribution in violation of U.S. election laws um, on behalf of an unnamed uh, foreign donor. We don't know who it is that's cited in the indictment. What has emerged and what interests reporters and what interests congressional investigators now is the connection between Furtash and his orbit and the Giuliani effort to influence um, the 2020 campaign by getting dirt on Joe Biden and the Democrats. So you did ask Ukraine to look into Joe Biden? Of course I did. We are um, seeing a replay of a couple of historical moments. So when Donald Trump was running for president in 2016, we began to learn about his relationship with oligarchs who made their fortunes in the former Soviet Union. That they were paid by the Ukrainian government, but that they hid these payments from U.S. authorities. Now there's sort of a new generation of questions, oddly and coincidentally, it seems, involving some of the same figures. Are they once again helping Donald Trump in his campaign for 2020?